welcome to bsc statistics student so in this lesson i explain characteristic function and the properties of characteristic function this is uh, one such function if uh, moment generating function does not exist uh, then characteristic function is used to uh, calculate uh, moments uh, and uh, some some properties uh, of a particular distribution so that is the special use of characteristic function so now we discuss what is characteristic function it is denoted by phi xt it is denoted by phi xt and uh, it is defined as expectation of e power e power i t x i is an imaginary value you know so this is equivalent to be for discrete and continuous for discrete uh, this is going to be defined as uh, summation e power i t x t of x this is for discrete discrete random variable which means and uh, for a continuous random variable integral e power i t x f of x dx and within the limits uh, it is going to be specified it is going to be considered for example minus infinity infinity you can consider for a continuous random variable continuous random variable this is the this is what the definition of characteristic function now what are the properties the properties of characteristic function what are the properties we we'll learn one by one first property the property number 1 is phi phi of 0 or phi x 0 it is equivalent to be 1 it is uh, easy we can easily prove this what is the proof of this particular property you consider by the definition of phi x t phi x 0 can be expressed as e power expectation of e power i in the place of t we have to substitute 0 of x which means it is e power 0 it is 1 so expectation of 1 is equal to 1 this is what the property you can easily prove so phi x t if t is equal to 0, the phi x 0 is equivalent to be 1. That is this particular first property. Come to the second property. Modulus of phi of x t, it is always less than or equal to 1. This is the another property. So, characteristic function, which means uh, it is always less than between minus 1 to 1. So, minus 1 less than or equal to phi x t is less than or equal to 1 this is what uh, from this uh, it is going to be explained so what is the proof of this uh, for which i am considering the definition of phi x t okay that is modulus of phi x t is equivalent to be modulus of what is phi x t for example you consider it's a continuous random variable we can write uh, the definition in terms of integration integral minus infinity to infinity i am taking the limits here e power i t x f of x dx this is what the definition of uh, phi x t for which you have modulus so you see modulus of uh, some particular integral value it is always less than or equal to we know the property integral minus infinity to infinity modulus of e power i t x into f of x dx so this is what uh, the from the property integral modulus of integral will be less than or equal to integral modulus of that function what is the function here e power i t s into f of x so this is what the function I am writing. Therefore, this is equivalent to this is equivalent to be now. I am writing integral minus infinity to infinity modulus of x into y. I am writing modulus of x into modulus of y. 
modulus of e power i t x multiplied by modulus of f of x dx which is equivalent to be integral minus infinity to infinity modulus of e power i t x since f of x is always greater than 0 by the definition of probability density function therefore we can directly write modulus of f of x is equal to f of x we can write f of x now what is modulus of e power i t x this is that is 1 because of modulus of e power i t x is equal to square root of cos square t x plus sin square t x this is the value of e modulus of e power i t x hence this is 1 cos square t x plus sin square t x is equal to 1 hence it is equal to 1 hence it is equivalent to be 1 so therefore this value is 1 modulus of e power i t x value is 1 therefore this is integral minus infinity to infinity f 1 into f of x that is f of x dx by the second property of probability density function integral minus infinity to infinity f of x dx is equal to 1 that is what total probability is unity probability lies in between minus infinity to infinity integral minus infinity to infinity f of x dx is equal to 1 so therefore modulus of phi of x t is always less than or equal to therefore modulus of phi of x t it is always less than or equal to 1 this is what the second property the third property, property number 3 and obviously this is what uh, the another property phi c x t is equal to phi x c t we can easily prove we proved same thing in the moment generating function for which I consider phi c x t is equal to LHS left hand side part so is equivalent of expectation of e power by the definition e power i t x i t in the place of x we have c x i t c x leave it and another one phi x c t that is can be by the definition of characteristic function expectation of e power i t in the place of t we have c t c t multiplied by x you see these both both are same both are same expectation of itcx expectation of ictx both are same therefore these two are equal phi x c t phi c x t is equal to phi x c t so this is third property property number four this additive property additive property what is the additive property of uh, characteristic function of characteristic function c of for example if there are n independent random variables x1 x2 and so on xn then the characteristic function of x1 plus x2 plus xn that is phi of x1 plus x2 plus and so on plus xn t the characteristic function of sum of n random variables independent random variables sum of n independent random variables can be expressed as product of their individual characteristic functions fi x1 t into phi x2 t into phi x n t this is what the additive property of characteristic function for which the proof that i consider phi of x1 plus x2 plus and so on plus x n t is equivalent to b by the definition expectation of e power i t for the variable x1 plus x2 plus and so on plus xn is equivalent to be we can write now i t x1 e power i t x1 because of the power plus e power i t x2 e power i t xn that's what i'm taking separately expectations since they are independent expectation of x y is equal to expectation of x into expectation of y you can write by using multiplication theorem of expectations therefore 
expectation of e power i t x1 into expectation of e power i t x2 and so on into expectation of e power i t x n. What is this? This is the characteristic function of x1. What is this? This is characteristic function of x2 multiplied by and so on. What is this? This is characteristic function of xn, the variable xn. This is what the proof of the property. The characteristic function of sum of n individual random variables x1 plus x2 plus xn can be expressed as product of all the individual characteristic functions x1, x2 and so on xn. That is phi x1 t into phi x2 t into phi xn t. This is what additive property of characteristic function. Then you can specify the another property, it is uh, effect of change of change of origin and scale, origin and scale on characteristic functions. What is the what would be the effect of change of origin and scale on characteristic functions? In which you consider u is equal to x minus a by h then we have to calculate phi ut it is going to be calculated by by the definition of expectation expectation of e power i t i t u is equivalent to the expectation of e power i t what is u x minus a by h in which expectation of e power i t x by h is one term into e, e power minus i t a i t a by h so i am writing as e power minus i t a by h i am taking outside multiplied by expectation of e power multiplied by expectation of e power i t x by h i t x by h so which means you can write uh, this one as uh, it's equivalent to be I write here e power minus i t a by h multiplied by this is uh, you can write as m x uh, not m x phi x correction function phi of x t by h. So what is this? Uh, this is phi u t. You see you observe here in which uh, in which e power minus i t a by h both a and h are present here also we have h here all a we have a so in which u minus x minus a by h in which a is representing shifting the origin h is representing shifting the scale both are present here therefore characteristic function is not independent of shifting the origin that means which is dependent of shifting the origin and scale that is uh, characteristic function is affected by shifting the origin and scale. If you shift the origin, characteristic function is going to be affected. If, if you shift the scale, the characteristic function is going to be affected. So it is very important that how it is going to be affected. This is the formula here. Phi ut is equal to e power expectation, uh, e power minus a t i t a by h multiplied by phi x t by h. Uh, this is what the change it is required whenever you shift the origin and scale that is uh, another important property and one more property I explain here that is uh, uniqueness theorem uniqueness theorem of characteristic function what is uniqueness theorem of characteristic function it's very simple for example if two random variables x and y are having the two characteristic function phi x t and phi y t if they are equal then their distributions are also equal that is they are identical identically distributed that is for one and only one unique characteristic function one distribution is only uh, can be applied can be uh, shooted which means only one particular uh, one distribution one characteristic function only can be existed. So that is the uh, uniqueness theorem for x and y uh, two random variables uh, then phi x t is equal to if phi y t 
implies and implied by x is equal to y that is uniquely distributed identically distributed so that the that is characteristic characteristic function uniquely determines the distribution it it, it determines one and only one distribution one characteristic function determines only one distribution which means uh, if that that which uh, which implies uh, which indicates uh, if you consider uh, the characteristic functions are equal for two random variables x and y then their distributions are also equal which means x is equal to y if if and only if the phi x t is equal to phi x phi y t if and only if uh, no, that is implies and implied by x is equal to y it uniquely determines the distribution hope you understand these are the properties of characteristic function thank you